Ini Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back po sa ating YouTube channel. And ang problem natin for today ay mula sa hydraulics and geotechnical engineering. And ang problem natin ay isang passport problem na lumabas noong April 2024. And mabas din ito noong November 2015. Okay, let's start. A 3 meters diameter pipeline of length 2,500 meters conveys water between reservoir at the rate of 10 cubic meter per second. Okay, so meron tayong dalawang reservoir dito. So itong nasa itaas at saka itong nasa ibaba. And then, between these two reservoir, mayroon nakakonek dyan na pipeline. So, And itong pipe na ito ay may diameter na 3 meters. And then yung haba niya o yung length niya is 2,500. And then yung discharge niya ay 10 cubic meter per second. What must be the difference in water surface elevation between the... 2 reservoir in meters. Neglect minor loss. Coefficient of friction is 0 0.018. Okay, so ang tanong dito is, okay, ah, ito ang water surface ng ating mga reservoir. And then ang tinatanong dito is, ano raw yung difference nitong water surface elevation? So, Itong difference in water surface elevation na ito, ito rin ay tinatawag na head loss. Okay. Now, head loss ang tinatanong dito sa problem. So, ang ating head loss ay dalawa. Major head loss and minor head loss. And dito naman sa major head loss, meron tayong tatlong formula dito. Ang formula ni Darcy, head loss formula ni Manning, and head loss formula ni Eisen Williams. And dito naman sa minor head loss, ito naman ang kanyang formula. So, itong minor head loss, ito siya, itong formula na ito is maraming factors ito. Kasama na dito yung ano, ah, uh, Minor head loss caused by contraction, caused by enlargement, caused by obstruction, and caused by bends. And kasama din dito sa minor head loss, itong minor head loss caused by nozzle. Now, balikan natin ang ating problem. So, ang sabi dito sa problem natin is neglect minor loss. So, ibig sabihin, ininiglik natin itong minor head loss na ito. So, dito tayo sa major head loss. So, tatlo ang formula na pagpipilian natin. So, ang tanong dito is, alin ba dito sa tatlo ang gagamitin natin? So, ang sagot dyan is magdidepende yan sa kung ano yung binigay dito sa problem. So, for example, dito sa problem natin, ang binigay is coefficient of friction. So, dito sa formula na ito, ang merong coefficient of friction ay itong si Darcy. Itong formula niya ang mayroon lang coefficient of friction. And the rest is wala. So, therefore, ang gagamitin natin na formula ay formula ni Darcy. Pero kung sakali man ang binigay sa problem ay roughness coefficient, itong N. So therefore, ang gagamitin natin ay formula ni Mannings. And kung sakali man na ang binigay sa problem na given ay C, itong C. 
Then, gagamitin natin ang formula ay itong formula ni Hazen William. So, for this problem, ang binigay sa atin is coefficient of friction. So, ito ang gagamitin natin na formula. Formula ni Darcy. Okay, so ito ang gagamitin natin na formula para sa head loss due to friction. Head loss due to friction natin is 1.53 meter. And ito ang ating final answer. Okay, so ang difference in water surface elevation natin or head loss is 1.53 meter. And ito ang ating answer. So problem solved mga kapatid. A 5 meters diameter pipeline, of length 3,000 meters, conveys water between reservoirs, at the rate of, 16 cubic meter per second. What must be the difference, in water surface elevation, between the two reservoirs, in meters? Neglect minor loss. Coefficient of friction is, 0 0.025. Zero point fifty one meters.